All right, my friends, we are going to do word parts. Today we're going to focus on geo and zoo. Geo and zoo. Go ahead and get your packets if you don't have it already. And we're going to write down the definition. So the definition of geo means earth. Geo, if you see anything with geo in it, you know that it's going to have something to do with the earth, okay? And then if you see any word with zoo in it, you're going to think of animals, okay? So if you see a word with zoo in it, you're probably, it's going to have something to do with animals. So let's open up to geo, okay? So we have geo, the meaning of geo is earth, And I will let you take a minute to draw a picture there. Now, in this section, it says to use a dictionary to define the word that are listed. So what I need for you to do is to follow along with me. I'm going to pull it up on my computer as well. But if you'll get logged in and open up a new tab and go to dictionary.com, dictionary.com that's going to help us define these so if you need a minute to log into your computer pause this video or not you're already logged in because you're watching the video but um, open a new tab and go to dictionary.com and then we'll get started on this this is going to be a little tricky because I'm going to try to video my computer as well so let's see how this works all right, so the first thing that we're going to do is on our dictionary.com is, can you, uh, I can't tell what you guys are seeing. You are going to type in the word geode, G-E-O-D-E. -E. Okay, can you see that? I can't tell what you're seeing. Oh, I don't know if this is going to work. All right, maybe I'll maybe I'll hold up my computer instead of my trying to turn my phone around because I can't see. All right, you guys are working through this with me. Thanks for problem solving. All right, so let's go to geode. Geode says Oh yeah, this is better. Okay, geode it tells us that it is a noun. And it also tells us that it's a hollow nodular stone that's lined with crystals. Okay, so let's go to our worksheet. And we are going to say that it is a noun. And we're going to say a hollow a uh, stone lined with crystals. Okay, a hollow stone lined with crystals. All right, you finish writing that down and I'm going to type in and follow with me, you can do this on your computer too, uh, geography. So let's go and we're going to leave the geo and just change the last part to geography. All right, now geography comes up with quite a big definition. So let me show you. Now we're not going to write that whole entire definition, but geography is the elements in the earth, such as the elevation, soil, vegetation, population, land use, industries, or states, all of the areas formed by the complex of these individual elements. So geography is basically the things around us. Okay, what's the geography in your area? Those are the things like your elevation, your climate, your soil, your vegetation, your population, all that would be your geography. And it is also a noun. So it is, how, let's see, how can we, um, it's a study of science 
I'm going to write study of science. And then after that, I'm going to put climate, that means the weather, elevation, that means how high you are, uh, vegetation, uh, population, I'm going to abbreviate that, land use, and then I'm going to just put etc. Okay, so it's the study of, it's a study of science, and it has to do with the climate, elevation, vegetation, population, land use, all of those things, geography. All right, the next one is geology, which is also a type of science. So we're going to leave the geo and just add all G. G -Y. Okay, so it is the science that deals with the dynamics and the physical history of the word earth. And the main word that we want to look at is rocks. Okay, geology is the study of rocks or the study of earth. And it is also a noun. Okay, so geology is a noun, and it is the study of rocks, the study of rocks. All right, geothermal, okay, ooh, geo is what? Earth, what's thermal? What does that sound like? Thermometer, what does a thermometer measure? Temperature or heat. So geothermal is an adjective that talks about the internal heat of the earth. So it's the heat of the earth. We could figure that word out without even looking it up. So it is an adjective we're going to put ADJ, and it is the internal heat of the earth. Okay, the internal heat of the earth. And that's an adjective. It describes it. All right, and the last one is geophysics. Geophysics. Geo means earth, and physics, and physics means the physical things. Okay, so some of the physical things, and that is a noun. So it's a branch of geology. Okay, so it's a type of science like geology, but they study the atmosphere, including the ocean, oceanography, seismology, which is earthquakes, volcanology, which is volcanoes, and geomagnetism, which is like lava and that kind of thing, like things that come up from the earth. So it is a noun. And it is a science. Um, and then I'm going to just write ocean, um, earthquakes, volcanoes, and things from in the earth. All right, so it's a science, it's a noun, and it is the science of studying the ocean, the earthquakes, the volcanoes, and things from in the earth. Okay, and that is geophysics. All right, so what you're going to do is write three sentences down here using...
um, those any of any three of those five words. All right, go to page the next page with zoo, and zoo means what? Animals. And go ahead and sketch yourself a picture here. And in part two, we are going to match the meaning of the word with the correct meaning. So we're going to see if we can do this and figure out um, what the words mean. Okay, so zoology. Ology means the study of. So the study of animals. Oh, the study of animals. Zoology is the study of animals. So that's going to be a C. Okay. A zoo. Well, we all know what a zoo is. That's a place where animals are kept. So that's A. Zooplankton. Zooplankton. You might know what that is. You might know what plankton is, especially if you watch... SpongeBob SquarePants. Plankton is those little tiny um, living things that are in the ocean. Let's go on and we'll come back. What's a zookeeper? A keeper is somebody who helps or takes care of. A person who tends to the animals would be a zookeeper, so that's going to be E. Zootomy, zootomy, otomy means um, the body, okay? So the anatomy of animals, do you see anatomy, zootomy? That's the study of animals' bodies, bones and that kind of thing. And then a small animal-like organism is going to be your what? Zooplankton. Well, that's D. All right. So on this page, you're going to take three of these words and put them into sentences at the bottom. Make sure that you use capitals, end marks, and spell the words correctly. All right, my friends. Geo means earth. Zoo means animals. Have a great day. Bye.